After successfully defending the one heavyweight championship thrice, Brandon Vera now has his sights set on becoming a two-division world champion with plans to face the one light heavyweight champion on October 2019 in Japan. I've asked to fight again October of next year in Japan. I've asked to fight whoever is holding the belt at light heavyweight. Whoever is holding the light heavyweight title, that's who I'm gonna fight next," said Vera. The current champion is Ong La N Sang of Myanmar, a fighter Vera holds high regard. The Burmese python defended his belt last October 26, and there is a chance he could be defending his belt again in the following months. However, Vera hopes that the Myanmar-based fighter will still be the champion by then. He's an amazing, amazing athlete. That dude, if you don't know Ong La, you don't really know what you're talking about here. So that's who I asked to fight next, Vera said that I continued to want to challenge myself and find the best athletes in the world to compete against until my body doesn't want to do it anymore. Dot it was a 2018 to remember for Vera. Aside from tying the knot with now wife Jessica Craven Vera, he also made his film debut with Filipina actress Ann Curtis in the movie by Bust. Vera will fulfill his movie-making duties in between before stepping up in the cage again. After his victory against Moro Cerulean won, Conquest of Champions, he promises to juggle his schedule better and not allow another two years before he fights again. So Pag Baba Ko NG Ring, Nakasup Ko Young Management Group, and we already have three movies on the books, said Vera. Two here and one in Hong Kong. They are not gonna be two years. I promise. I will never be away that long again. Dot at 42 years old, Vera believes he can still compete at the highest level. He sees himself fighting five years more. My brain, I think my brain wants to do it forever, but my body may be in five more years. Maybe. I always say five years, so we'll see from there, he said. That's next, movies, fight in October. Other than that it's just working, grinding, more Tagalog classes, more acting classes, and then more projects.